Candace Cameron Beer celebrated her role as a mother to her three children, Natasha, Maxim, and Lev, paying tribute with a sweet video montage of the kids all grown up. Burr took to Instagram on Tuesday, May 21, to share the meaningful video. Summing up her love for her family in the caption as she wrote, They will always be my babies at Natasha Beer Plus, Lev Plus at Maxim.Beer. The clip, which featured a bunch of small moments of Beer and her kids spending time together in recent years, was set to an audio clip of Nicole Kidman talking about the joys of motherhood, originally from her video with Vogue called 73 Questions with Nicole Kidman. In the clip, the interviewer asked Kidman, what's the best part about being a mom? To which she answered everything. The love, the joy, the purpose. She was then asked to name the hardest part about being a mom, with Kidman saying, knowing I won't be here forever, so I won't always be able to take care of them. The message must have resonated with Buer, as the video depicted moments of the actress embracing her kids and laughing with them, along with a cute memory of Natasha pushing her mother on a swing as they wore complimentary outfits. Natasha commented, I love you. While Maxim wrote, fans shared how much they loved the adorable video, with replies like, so thankful to be a mother? This is so adorable, stop. And so, so precious. Agreed. But what a legacy, said another. While quite a few fans who are also mothers described feeling similarly about their own family. Burr shares her three children with her husband, Valerie Burr, a former NHL player. The two married in 1996 and will celebrate their 28th wedding anniversary this June. Candace Cameron Beer says the VIU was one of the easiest places for her to share her faith. Almost 10 years ago, I co-hosted the VIU as a permanent co-host for two years, and that was a really tough show because I was the lone conservative, she said during an episode of the Am I Doing This Right podcast. It's supposed to be the view and have all different points of view, but it's really four liberal views and one conservative. Despite not sharing the political viewpoints of her fellow co-hosts, Beer explained that it was an easy place for her to share her faith. That was one of the easiest places for me to share my faith, she said. I wasn't great at talking about politics, but I knew what the Bible said, so I could come from my biblical worldview and share about what my opinion was from a faith perspective. Beer continued, A lot of people felt like, Oh, that's so bold of you, but I thought, this is the easiest part for me. It's really the only thing I can because God's with me. And I know God by reading his word and I know what it says. So here's my guide. That's what I can talk about. Beer has previously spoken about her experience co-hosting the VIU, saying, the stress and the anxiety. I actually have a pit in my stomach right now. There was only one type of stress that I've ever felt in my life that came from that show. And I have PTSD, like I can feel it. It was so difficult. And to manage that emotional stress was very, very hard. Speaking about her decision to leave the show, the actress said, I did not want to be the punching bag for the next four years in that conservative seat, but added that she doesn't regret her time on the VIU. There were so many wonderful takeaways from the show that as difficult as that job was, I'm very grateful for it, she said. My confidence really grew from doing that show. I don't regret anything. I wouldn't take anything back. She spoke about her time on the VIU in more detail in an interview with People, calling it an exciting, challenging, informative, emotional, and stressful job. It was one of the toughest jobs I've held, but I was incredibly grateful for the opportunity to sit at the table with such talented, smart, capable women were continued. I also established long-standing relationships off-camera with show producers, crew, talent, and guests, which I'm forever thankful for. While I'd never want a permanent seat at the table again, it always feels like family when I come back to the show as a guest. Movie Guider Previously reported on the VU's efforts to add more conservative voices. 
The Value announced that Alyssa Farah Griffin and Anna Navarro will be joining the talk show's panel in the upcoming 26th season. Both Farah Griffin and Navarro have appeared on the show before, adding a conservative voice to the show's panel of hosts. I couldn't be more honored and thrilled to join the ladies of the Vayu, Farah Griffin said. The show paved the way for women speaking up and speaking out on TV. She continued, at a time when our country is so divided, often on partisan lines, I'm honored to represent the conservative perspective. I hope to model what is too often lost by our elected leaders. Learning from others, disagreeing respectfully, and focusing on finding real solutions for our country. Navarro is equally excited to join the VAIU, saying, The VAIU is an institution and incomparable platform for women of different backgrounds to share their opinions and insights. I love being on the show, she continued. Thank you to ABC Niyuas, the Vayu family, and our loyal viewers for their continued support.